Sabrina was a kind-hearted girl who always went out of her way to help others, often donating all of her earnings from streaming to those in need. Despite her attractive appearance, she spent most of her time alone indoors, gaming and streaming. But behind her kind and innocent demeanor, Sabrina was struggling to make ends meet, often going without food for days at a time. Her one goal in life was to have 1,000 friends and to be remembered fondly when she passed away. However, her dreams were cut short when she fell ill and was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Despite undergoing surgery in an attempt to cure her, she eventually fell into a deep coma that ultimately led to her untimely death. Although Sabrina's life was short-lived, her story doesn't end there. One day, she woke up in a new world, finding herself reborn in a magical realm filled with swords, magic, and adventure. And thus, her journey in this new world began. Suddenly, Sabrina opened her eyes, disoriented and confused. She couldn't recall how she got here or even where here was. She remembered being in the hospital, lying in a bed and counting to 100, but now she found herself lying on a bed of grass surrounded by fluttering butterflies. As she looked around, she realized that the world she was in was vastly different from anything she had ever known. The sky was dotted with two planets, and a dragon soared in the distance. There was no sign of civilization, leaving her alone in this unfamiliar, fantastical world. Her heart racing, Sabrina couldn't help but wonder if she was dreaming. The world around her reminded her of the MMO games she used to play, and she found herself wondering if this was a vivid dream about one of those magical worlds. Despite her confusion and uncertainty, Sabrina felt a sense of relief wash over her. She was grateful to be free from the pain and sickness that plagued her in the hospital. Whether this new world was a dream or reality, she was determined to make the most of it. As she looked around at the fantastical scenery, she felt a sense of excitement and wonder. But she knew that she had to find a way to survive and navigate this strange new world. She took a deep breath and reminded herself that she was a gamer, that she had experience in virtual worlds. With a determined look on her face, she set out to explore this new world and discover what adventures awaited her. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Sabrina heard a loud voice echo through her thought, for he was the god of this world and the one who brought her here. He introduced himself as Eamon, explaining where she was. He told Sabrina that she was a worthy soul and that was why he gave her a second life in this new world, a world better than her last. He had watched her multiple times back on Earth, always feeling bad that he was not allowed to interfere with mortals to help her. He had to wait for her to die, sadly, but now he was able to help her in this new world as he ruled this domain. He explained that her surgery went bad and she was in a coma for several years, then died. But not to worry, she had a second chance in this new world. And not only that, he had made her an elf as well. Elves in this world had a longer life than humans, and they could live for hundreds of years. So, she did not have to worry about dying so soon this time. But that was not all. He had also given her multiple skills to help survive in this new world, feeling bad for not being able to help her in her last life. The new talents he gave her were the ability to control all the elements, wind, water, earth, fire, darkness, and light magic as well as holy healing magic. He told her that if she ever had any questions or just wanted to talk, she was welcome to talk to him, as he had given her two special unique skills as well. One was a tamer, so she could tame companions to aid in her travels, as well as to understand her companions and talk to them. The other was holy prayer, an ability that would allow her to communicate with the gods at any time. All she had to do was pray, and he would hear her. Then, the god told Sabrina that a small village was not too far from her current location, and that she should go there to start her life. Suddenly, the voice went silent, and she was all alone again. She closed her eyes for a moment, and a flashback came rushing back to her. She remembered lying in her hospital bed, crying and sobbing from the horrible pain, with the nurses looking at her with their pale faces. 
they knew how sick she was, that she may not survive much longer. But now, everything is different. She was alive again, and she had been given a new lease on life in a world filled with magic and adventure. Sabrina sat up and looked around, taking in her surroundings. The grass was a vibrant green, and the sky was a deep shade of blue. She felt a gentle breeze blowing through her hair, and she could hear the sound of a nearby stream. She couldn't believe that she was in a different world, one that was full of magic and wonder. Feeling a sense of excitement and curiosity, Sabrina stood up and started walking in the direction that Edamon had told her the village was located. As she wandered through this new world, she could only thank God for giving her this opportunity. She felt like she had been given a second chance at life, and she was determined to make the most of it. Looking back on her past life, Sabrina truly felt like everything had happened for a reason. She had been given a second chance, and she would make the most of it. And even though she missed her old life sometimes, she knew that she was exactly where she was meant to be. As Sabrina continued on her journey, she felt a huge sense of excitement mixed with apprehension. She was grateful for this second chance at life, but the sudden appearance of Edamon and the gift of incredible powers had left her feeling a bit overwhelmed. She had always been a kind and gentle person, but there was something else lurking beneath the surface, something she couldn't quite explain. Strolling through the lush forest, Sabrina couldn't help but notice the beauty of her new surroundings. The leaves on the trees seemed to shimmer with a life of their own, and the sounds of birds and other creatures filled the air. She knew she had a long way to go before reaching the village Edamon had mentioned, but she was eager to explore this new world. As she walked, Sabrina couldn't shake the feeling that there was something dark and dangerous lurking just beneath the surface. She had always been a bit of an adrenaline junkie, enjoying the thrill of pushing herself to the limits. But there was something else there too, a sadistic side that she tried to keep hidden. Despite her attempts to suppress it, Sabrina couldn't help but feel a thrill of excitement at the thought of using her newfound powers to control and manipulate those around her. She knew it was wrong, but there was something seductive about the idea of being in control. Shaking her head to clear her thoughts, Sabrina tried to focus on the task at hand. She had a long journey ahead of her, and she couldn't afford to get distracted by her own dark desires. She would have to be careful, and make sure that she didn't give in to temptation. But deep down, Sabrina knew that it would be a constant battle to keep her darker side in check. After a lovely walk, Sabrina finally arrived at the small village. She had heard rumors of this place from travelers she had met on the road, but she couldn't have imagined the beauty of it until now. The village was situated at the foot of a mountain range, and the homes and shops were built in a rustic style, with thatched roofs and wooden beams. The streets were lined with small stalls selling all sorts of goods, from fresh produce to handcrafted weapons and armor. As she walked through the village, Sabrina was struck by the diversity of the people who lived there. There were elves with their pointed ears and flowing robes, humans dressed in male armor and carrying swords and shields, and even witches with their pointed hats and magical cloaks. The air was alive with the sounds of chatter and laughter, and the scent of freshly baked bread and roasting meats filled her nostrils. Sabrina couldn't help but admire the beauty of this place. It was nothing like Japan, it had a medieval feel to it, but with a touch of magic that made it feel like a fairy tale come to life. As she wandered through the streets, she noticed a blacksmith's shop with weapons and armor on display in the window. Next to it was a clothier's, with bolts of colorful fabrics and intricate lace on display. And further down the street, she spotted a small apothecary, with jars of herbs and potions lining the shelves. As Sabrina took it all in, she couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement and wonder. This was a new world, a new life, and she was eager to explore all it had to offer. But at the same time, she couldn't help but feel a nagging sense of unease. She knew she had a dark side, a sadistic streak that she had always kept hidden. She wondered if this new world would bring that side of her out, or if she could keep it under control. Only time would tell. 
Sabrina had been wandering this town for hours when she finally arrived at the main market. As she walked through the streets, she couldn't help but notice the intricate designs and unique clothing styles of the locals. She felt out of place in her skinny jeans and crop top, wondering why she wasn't wearing the hospital gown she had on when she died. She wondered if that pervy god changed her clothes before sending her here, she would make sure to properly scold him for this when they next meet again. Wondering if she will be able to get clothing to fit into this new world she looked around for someone to help her find some work. As she walked, she saw two nice seeming girls in front of one of the shops. Sabrina approached them and asked if they knew where she could find work or a way to earn some money. Her tummy rumbled as she realized she couldn't afford to buy any food for herself or any clothing to fit in more. The girls smiled at Sabrina and suggested several options. They mentioned the local tavern, where she could ask if they needed any help cleaning or serving drinks. They also mentioned a farm on the outskirts of the village that was always in need of extra hands to help with the crops. And if Sabrina had magic or was good at handling swords or other weapons, they suggested she visit the guild hall. However, they warned her to be careful as they didn't see any armor or magical clothing on her, and suggested the tavern as a safer option. As they spoke, Sabrina couldn't help but notice the intricacy of their outfits. The girls were wearing colorful dresses with corsets and ribbons, matching the style of the town. The people around her wore a variety of outfits, from male armor and magical armors of cloth, to witch outfits with pointed hats. It was a melting pot of styles and cultures, creating a unique atmosphere in the village. She wondered if she would be able to afford something as pretty as what they had on if she took work at the tavern. Sabrina thanked the girls and headed to the tavern they had mentioned. When she arrived, she pushed open the heavy wooden door and was immediately hit with the smell of ale and roasting meat. The tavern was dimly lit with candles, casting flickering shadows across the room. Sabrina approached the owner, a burly man with a bushy beard and asked if there was any work available. The owner looked her over for a second. He noticed how small she was and doubted she would be able to tend to the table so he told her they were short-staffed and desperately needed someone to help with the dishes and cleaning. Sabrina agreed to work for them and was given a meal in exchange for her services. She agreed with a big smile on her face and spent the night doing her best to make the owner happy as she did not want to disappoint her first boss in this new world. After a long night of work she sat down to eat, Sabrina couldn't help but feel a sense of relief. She had found a way to make some money and hopefully survive in this new world. However, as she ate her meal of watery soup and stale bread, Sabrina couldn't help but miss the food from her world. The bread was tough to chew and the soup tasted like water someone had stirred with smelly toes. After a long night of hard work, Sabrina was given a small room in the back to sleep in. It was small and musty, but Sabrina was grateful for a place to rest her head. As she lay down on the lumpy bed, she made a mental note to visit the Adventurer Guild the next day in hopes of finding better paying work so she could afford a proper meal and possibly a new outfit. As Sabrina lay in bed, she thought about the incredible powers that the gods had bestowed upon her. She wondered if she could try out her newly acquired taming skill. Looking at the wall of her small room, she spotted a tiny cockroach walking on it, and she couldn't resist the temptation to see if she could tame it. Sabrina closed her eyes and focused, attempting to connect with the insect. She opened her eyes and stared at it intently, praying for the power to make it hers. Suddenly, to her shock, the insect spoke to her, saying hello miss. Sabrina was momentarily stunned but quickly regained her composure, grinning wickedly as she told the cockroach what she wanted to do with it. Without hesitation, the cockroach scurried under the door and made its way to the tavern. Climbing up the leg of the unsuspecting boss and making its way up his shirt, it finally landed in his beard. Sabrina couldn't help but cackle with glee as she watched the bearded man get a nasty surprise as the cockroach crawled around on his beard. Sabrina watched the roach crawl into the man's beard, she couldn't help but let out an evil laugh. The bearded man got a shock as the insect crawled around on his beard, but instead of squishing it, 
he merely brushed it off and went on with his business. Sabrina waited for a few moments and then closed her eyes to sever the bond with the roach. She didn't want to enslave the poor creature, and she felt relieved when she saw it scurry back to her room unharmed. She thanked the roach for its help and broke the connection, and the roach scurried back to its life, leaving Sabrina to ponder the possibilities of her newfound powers. Perhaps she could use them for good, she thought, instead of just for mischief. Grinning and giggling trying to compose herself she pressed her face down on the hard pillow laughing. As she lay back in bed, trying to stifle her laughter, Sabrina realized that this newfound power could come in handy, even if just for a bit of harmless fun. Who knows what kind of trouble she could get into next.